Okay guys, welcome back. Now sometimes we might feel that there's not a whole lot of space between the text and the border surrounding it. So if you ever want to add some space between the content and the border, then we make use of an attribute called cell padding. So going back to your code, next to border, you can specify cell padding and this is going to be equal to the amount of pixels you want to pad between the content and the border. So let's say five. So when you save it and observe how the content is now and when I reload it, you see that there is a bit more spacing between the content and the border. Let me just change it to 10 so that you can have a better look again. So 10, save it, I reload it and there you go, more space. And the more the amount, the more the pixels, the more the padding. And if you ever want to include some space between each of the cells, then we make use of an attribute called cell spacing. So we have another attribute called cell spacing. And once again, we can specify, let's say three. We don't want a whole lot of gap. It looks ugly. So Okay, it, does, it did not make much difference. Let me go to 10, save it, and when I reload it, you see that there is a whole lot of gap between one cell and the other. So that's how you provide space between the content and the border and from one cell to the other. Just quickly going to make this as two because I don't like how it is. Anyway, two. Okay. All right. So next is the width of the table. So if you if you have noticed, the width of the table was always going to be wrapped around the text, which was of the maximum length. If you want to specify your own width, though, then we can make use of the width attribute. Width, width attribute. So next to our cell spacing, we can have width is equal to, let's say, 500 pixels. So when you save it and reload it, so you have it over 500 pixels. And you can also specify it as a percentage, so let's say 50%. And when you reload it, it is going to take 50% of the total page size available. So there's a total of 100 that I want this table to take up 50% of it. And that's how it works. And finally, I should have mentioned this in the very beginning, but anyway, to add a caption to your table, we can, we can make use of the caption tag. So caption, and we can specify, let's say, cast of friends. And save it. And reload it. And over here, you see that on the very top, at the very center, we have the caption that says cast of friends. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.